senators facing the most scrutiny right now in the caucus are Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley. You were patriots just like the patriots gathered at Bunker Hill, just like the patriots gathered at Valley Forge, just like the patriots who forged this nation. <laughs> Josh Hawley, who was at the forefront of a bid to block certification of President-elect Joe Biden's win, has, quote, blood on his hands. Should Senator Cruz or Senator well, Hawley resign? I think they should be just flat beaten the next time they run. I think the American public has a real good, clear look at who they are. And by most accounts, Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley are now the most detested members of the U.S. Senate. And it's not getting any easier for them as these videos continue to emerge showing the ferocity and the violence of the rioters against the Capitol Police. The videos are very difficult to watch and it makes the case even stronger about incitement and what, if anything, should be done about Senators Cruz and Hawley. Can they be expelled? Should they be expelled? Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Article 1, Section 5 of the U.S. Constitution says that each chamber in Congress, each house, may determine the rules of its proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and with the concurrence of two-thirds, expel a member. Since 1789, the U.S. Senate has expelled 15 of its members. 14 of them, however, came during the Civil War. Their Senate colleagues felt that these senators had aided and abetted the conspiracy of the Confederacy against the Union. There are some parallels, of course, because here we have members of the U.S. Senate who are being alleged to have instigated or helped inspire a rebellion against a sitting U.S. government. Because senators signed on, acting as if they would be a part of this undoing of the Electoral College, it raised hopes. There was 41-year-old Senator Josh Hawley from Missouri. He was previously the attorney general of that state and then elected to the Senate in 2018. He is the youngest member of the U.S. Senate. He graduated from Stanford and Yale Law School. In other words, he's somebody who should know the law. Texas Senator Ted Cruz, in his public comments two days before the rebellion in Georgia, he said, we will not go quietly in the night. We will defend liberty. And he repeatedly described the crowd as patriots, patriots like those at Bunker Hill. Remember Mitch McConnell? He urged every member of his Republican caucus not to object to the electors, and McConnell is known for doling out punishment to members who cross him. Might he take away committee assignments from Hawley and Cruz? It's possible. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has also raised the prospect of invoking the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, Section 3, which says, no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, and shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion. In other words, there could be lawsuits against Hawley and Cruz and others. A lot to think about, but here's my point. Hawley and Cruz, they should have known better. They helped instigate a rebellion, an insurrection that turned violent. They are responsible, just like Donald Trump is responsible. And just like Donald Trump is facing an impeachment, there has to be some action taken against Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley as well. I pray that they have seen these very difficult videos of the crowds going crazy on those U.S. Capitol Police. Hopefully they will hang their heads in shame over this for years to come.